evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the opportunity to present um, our small hospital in um, Pakistan. Uh, I'll start by um, uh, explaining, the, our presentation will be twofold. Um, I'll do the first uh, part, which is a bit of background to the hospital and how we started it, and Dr. Adri Savan, who's our founder, um, and um, the person with, with the big idea. He'll do the medical uh, side of the presentation. So first of all, for those of you not familiar with Pakistan, um, we're, we're in the press all the time at the moment for all the wrong reasons. But um, so we've got uh, Afghanistan on the on in the west and India in, in the east, uh, China in the north, um, and we the hospital is actually in between Islamabad and Lahore, two of the major cities in Pakistan. Um, we're about an hour and a half, hour and forty five minutes from Islamabad airport. Um, there is a road to to close to the hospital, so we do get plenty of visitors, which I'll come on to later. Here um, is the start of the hospital in April 1999. Um, the reason why um, uh, Dr. Dries actually, who, who works in the NHS, again I'll explain a bit later, um, the idea, uh, the reason why he wanted to pursue the idea of the hospital was, uh, although there is hospital provision, medical provision in Pakistan, um, there is, um, it is very costly. Um, most people don't have, have access to it. There is no formal social uh, sort of services, but in Islam there is a concept of zakat, which basically means any widow or orphan uh, or people who are destitute can go to the local authority, get a certificate that confirms that. And what we've done is we've made them um, the ability for them to have free medical care if they present that certificate. So this is the start of the hospital. This is construction in June 2003. We saw our first patient in uh, 2006. Uh, last year we treated 59, just over 59,000 patients. Uh, total patients that we've treated since we opened in 2006 is 238,000. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to get an affiliation with the NHS. Uh, it gives us access to um, uh, their, their technical skills. It gives us access to their second-hand equipment. Uh, and also here, we, where we had the um, AGM in July 2006, is the actual signing ceremony. We counted that number of people, out of those people that are in that photo, 80% have actually been to the hospital, visited the hospital, seen it operational, seen people being treated. We'd raise somewhere between 50 to, um, uh, 40 to 50,000 pounds a year. Uh, we need a minimum of 3,000 pounds a month to pay for staff. Last year we sent 34,000 pounds to Pakistan. The balance of the costs of running the hospital are raised locally. Uh, total spent on construction since 2003, 93,000. We've extended the hospital twice, and last, the, the last extension was a neonatal unit. We're fortunate to have a group of donors that have stuck with us through, um, through thick and thin, um, standing orders, and they raise about 2,000 pounds a month. We need that as a minimum, basically, to be able to carry on with what is an operational unit. This is our uh, claim to fame. Um, we, our costs of administration and, uh, and printing are very, very small, uh, 2.4, 2.6, 3.9. Uh, they've gone up because of the rather nice presentation that you walked into uh, in the room next door. Um, <laughs> um, we, any, any travel that we do, we pay for ourselves. Any meetings that we hold, we pay for ourselves. Um, none of that comes out of the costs of the charity. Um, and so, in the 96%, uh, of the money that we raise goes directly to, to service patients. I'll hand you over to Dr. Dries to finish the presentation. Good evening, everybody. It's my pleasure to present our project in front of the funding network audience. Ashu Welfare Hospital is in a remote village of Pakistan where I grew up. I qualified as a doctor in Pakistan then for more than 26 years I'm in the Europe, and more than 17 years I'm in, in, in UK. I'm currently working as a neurologist at Ashburn St. Peter Hospital. Our eye department was one of our first departments which we established. We have treated more than 33,000 patients over there. And our clinical results have been verified by by our affiliated NHS uh, partners in the UK. Our diagnostic <coughs> and outpatient departments are well established. We have treated and diagnosed thousands of patients. And last year, we have started our maternity department with a big local demand. And 
WHO figure suggests that there is a strong clinical need to reduce the high complication rate and, and death rate associated with the pregnancy in that part of the world, as you have already heard in the presentation before in that part of the world. <laughs> well, I think that looking at that, uh, this is the third operation theater uh, where our uh, gynecologists are working. That theater has been designed by British architect, which was uh, the design was donated to us by our uh, par partners. And coming on to the results, uh, the ladies are happy with their baby, then we are very happy. <laughs> we are very happy with our <laughs> we are very happy with our clinical result. So far there's no maternal death and the harsh welfare hospital. But there are a few problems over there. Approximately every fifth uh, newborn baby needs either oxygen or temperature control. And we don't have a simple uh, device called neonatal incubator. And if more than one mother believes at one time, we have nowhere to place the donated blood for these ladies. And if mother or baby needs to be transferred to the bigger hospital for urgent medical need, we have 10 years of ambulance which needs to be Ladies and gentlemen, look at the many, uh, value of money which you are donating. We transferred only 34,000 pounds last year, treated more than 59,000 patients, and performed more than 500 uh, maternity procedures, including normal delivery and cesarean, cesarean section, and with the help of 40 staff. And I didn't mention over there how much money they are get, getting from us. They're only 3,000 pounds per month, which is less than a monthly salary of medical officer in the NHS. Unbelievable. That's why I would like to invite all of you to come and visit Hashim Al-Fatah Hospital and see by yourself what your money is doing. Thank you for listening and thank you so much for coming.